You reached the supplies, but someone else got there first. You killed him and took the food for yourself. Let's rearrange the timeline, Igor. Hey, don't hurt me! I'm... I'm unarmed! Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I know traitor! I was never even with the NAR! You'll have to be a lot more convincing than that. Those spooks really want to find you. Your face is all over the radio. All right, all right. I, I used to trade with some of the grunts sometimes. But those knuckleheads got confused about how trading works. They tried to rip me off, and... And what? One thing led to another, and... You understand. I, I took a few little items to balance the account. Obviously, they didn't want the brass to find out about their little side hustle, so they cooked up this yarn about a traitor. Interesting. Yeah, but not nearly as interesting as you, my friend. You're new to the zone, right? You've been staying in Mikhail's warehouse. I wonder what you're up to. How did you know that? I need to go now. They're probably worried about me. Who's they? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Please step aside. I'm going now. Sorry, but I don't like your story. Why don't you tell me who you really are? And let's take a little look-see in your bag while we're at it. Who I am is none of your bloody business, and I'm not showing you shit. We're both in a tough spot here. Maybe you're just a hustler, or maybe you're a spy. I can't just let you walk away. Yeah, looks like we're in a bind, all right. Ball's in your court, asshole. Just another stalker trying to make it in the zone, eh? You're free to go. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You met Kostya. He was captured and held prisoner by the NAR. He asked you to release him, but you hesitated, wanting more time to think it through. You left him to rot in jail. Let's rearrange the timeline, Igor. Let me out and let's get back to Olga. I'll make sure you get the credit for retrieving the food. This guy is sketchy and gives me a weird vibe. Let's leave him here. If he's as skilled as he says he is, he can make it back on his own. All right, you're free. Head back to the camp. Thanks. I'll put a good word in for you. Kostya asked you to give him food for the Samoshils so he could incapacitate Matvey and run the village differently. You felt his plan was unacceptable and refused. Let's rearrange some pieces on the space-time chessboard, Igor. You have the supplies, right? Let me take them off your hands. Thanks. What? <laughs> Those are some balls you've got there. I... I really need you to hand them over. I'll give them right back to Olga, promise. Either you tell me what is this all about, or I'm not giving you shit. All right, all right. Look, I've been trying to help these people for years. Show them how to run this place better, organize themselves and whatnot. Go on. But for some reason, they don't trust me. They only listen to Olga and that old coot Matve. Don't get me wrong, I love Olga. I love all of them. They're my family, and I live to protect them, even when it's against their wishes. Maybe they don't trust you because you're a lying sack of shit. What do you want with the supplies? Matve needs to learn his place. He's reckless, makes decisions that could get us all killed. His reign of terror has to be stopped. I'm going to spike his food. Just give him a little something to make him a bit more, um... Docile. Then I can make some changes around here, and Olga will finally see reason. She's under Matvey's influence. It has to stop. Well, that's... <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. So this is all about your personal vendetta? I'm a doctor. As you know, I'll be very careful with the dosage. It won't do any real harm. Trust me. This will benefit everyone. If you help me with this, you'll always find support here. Whatever you need... I'll get it for you. 
Before I make up my mind, I need you to come clean about one more thing. Did you steal the supplies yourself to orchestrate this plan? <clears throat> yes. Yes, I did. But only because of how much I care about this place. I'm willing to do the hard thing to save everyone. I trust that you can see this and will make the right call. You know you need allies in a place like this. Trust in the great rat catcher's wisdom. Sometimes he guides us to serendipitous situations just like this one, Mousy. This Madre. I've known him for a long time, and I don't trust him. He may even be an unwilling vessel for the Rat King's wrath. A taste of rat poison is just what he needs. No way! I'm not going to let you poison anyone. That's insane! <sighs> I wish you hadn't said that. You successfully brought the food back, but were unsure if you could tell Olga about Kostya. Perhaps you could have asked her to join you? In the end, you decided to leave the village without doing anything. Are you ready to readjust the timeline, Igor? I retrieved your supplies. Thank you for saving Kostya. It can be difficult, but he's family. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. How about joining forces? Your people seem to have everything under control here. I could use someone with your skills and drive. And I could use someone who knows so much about NAR technology. Yeah, I think Madve can take care of things on his own for a while. Lead the way. I'll open a portal for you. Just don't freak out, okay? Dear Igor, apologies for this pre-recorded message, but it's for your own safety. I found something that will help you in your search. The documents are on the roof of the Pripyat Hospital. Come as quickly as you can and try to be discreet. My superiors would be very unhappy if they knew I was helping you. I knew I could count on the old man. I would have contacted him sooner if only I'd known he was here. Hello, Mousy. Ready to continue? Why are we still hanging around here? Let's head out! Could this be a turning point, Igor? Having such a powerful ally in this place could change everything for you. But then again, you've always been so trusting. I hope it won't be your downfall.
these must be the documents Professor Semenov left for me. You have no idea how determined a man can be. I'm not going anywhere! <sighs> Something's interfering with my portal generator. This is what's blocking my port. There's more than one jamming device. Ah, oh, they really put the effort into setting this trap. Turn that still nothing. Have to find the other device.
How do you do, Igor? Fine. Fine, just getting ready for action. What's up with you? Before I came here, I was involved with Greenpeace in Ukraine. Oh, that's commendable. Any successes? Well, the economic climate wasn't very good at that time. We staged some protests, I even chained myself to a tree once. But in the end, the police would show up and beat the shit out of me. Don't be so hard on yourself. NGOs have always had it rough in our neck of the woods. Yeah, I was like bailing out the ocean with a teaspoon. Somebody told me that when Greenpeace first came to Ukraine, they were immediately infiltrated by the KGB. I can't believe this world. That was the Cold War mentality for you. Every foreign NGO worker is a potential spy or asset. Some officials promised to help us build an eco-housing project for Chernobyl survivors, but in the end it came to nothing. The construction company dug a huge hole for the foundation that disappeared with all the materials. And that was the end of it. One giant waste of time. I wish I had been born in your times, Igor. I would have done so much more. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. But you probably would have gotten yourself killed. Hi, Olga. I was wondering if you could share some of the know-how you've picked up in the zone. I'd be glad to. But here in the zone, you must be self-sufficient. You don't want to end up worm food. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn, oh great huntress. No jokes while we're training or I'll smack you upside the head. Got it? Okay, Igor, let me introduce you to your new best friend, the AK-47. Beloved weapon of revolutionaries and freedom fighters for decades. Some countries even put it on their flag, because it played such a big role in claiming their independence. But enough history. I'll give you some pointers to help you understand the weapon's full potential. The biggest challenge is compensating for recoil and automatic firing mode. You must learn to control it. Don't worry, the cans won't shoot back. Do your worst. Or best. Ready? Commence firing. Not bad, not bad at all. You sent many of them to can heaven. Okay, Professor, I think you've learned the basics. Good! What can I do for you, Professor? Hi, Olga. I'd be glad to. Fantastic! I'm ready- No jokes. Today I'll teach you how to stay alive a little bit longer. Knowing how to use a med kit, healing salves, and herbs is obviously important, but I won't be talking about that. What are you going to talk about, Olga? About resolve, grit, and determination. About having the guts to do what's right, whatever it takes. I get what you're saying, but what does it have to do with survival skills? You know the stories about people who achieve seemingly impossible feats in times of crisis? There's this tale about an old woman who somehow lifted a tram because her grandkid was stuck underneath. I'm sure that's an urban legend. Even so, with inner discipline and strength of conviction, you can sometimes surprise yourself. Let me ask you something. Are you willing to die for Tatiana? Without hesitation. Good. Now what you need to understand is that she doesn't need you to die. She needs you to live. Stay alive, Igor. It's the only way to see this through. You did good, Professor. Sweat, blood, and tears are the secret formula to becoming a master. I need to talk to you, Igor. This is important. What's going on? I've gotten word from Mathe. His scouts discovered a prison in the Red Forest. They just discovered it now? I thought you guys knew this place better than the mice. They discovered that an old Soviet bunker had been repurposed. It must have happened recently. Go on. 
We didn't know about it because there's no reason to venture out that way anymore. That part of the woods is crawling with lurkers and NAR goons. And Matvey thinks it's a prison. Exactly. Someone's being guarded there. Whoever it is, it could be important. I know it's a long shot, but I still think it's worth it. It's not heavily guarded either. Definitely worth a try. Do you think it could be your mom? No, I, I don't. I believe she's gone. I've made my peace with it a long time ago. So, I take it you want me to check out this bunker prison? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. And Mathe is occupied elsewhere. Are you in? You've got a point. It makes sense to have this place on our radar. I'll check it out. Atta boy. Now go bring me back some good news. I know you just want to do the right thing, but are you sure you're not wasting your time? You usually don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. This whole zone is littered with old Soviet bunkers and relics of the past. Why would the NAR be interested in any of that? They won't bother you anymore. A tough guy, huh? Well done. Usually these assholes don't venture this far because of the lurkers. Anyways, thanks. We would have dealt with them ourselves, but I guess you saved us the trouble. Olga, I found the entrance. Watch out for guards. They're probably close by. Of course. Where else would they be?
Olga, I found something. A control panel. Perhaps it opens the cell doors. Oh, wait, shouldn't you check the cell before you open it? Hey, little guy. What are you doing here? This is no place for children. No kidding, old timer. Let me out of here before the guards come back. What's your name, kid? I'm Gleb. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me out of here, or my uncle will kick the crap out of you. Whoa, easy there, little fella. I'm not little. I'm already ten, you know. First, I need to know how you ended up here. What is this place? I was going to visit my uncle. He was supposed to pick me up in Slavutich, and... This black van came after me. There were two big guys with faces like potatoes. They said that they would take me to my uncle, and they gave me a can of coke. It's supposed to wake you up, but I got really sleepy. They kidnapped you? When I woke up, I was in here. But I wasn't scared. I didn't even cry. Maybe just a little. I'm almost a grown-up. I tried to escape once by myself, but the stupid guards caught me and put me back in this cage. And, and one of them said, if you try and run again, you'll regret it, little rat. But I'm not like a little rat at all. Rats stink and poop everywhere. You're the bravest little boy I ever met, Gleb. I told you, I'm not a little boy. Who's your uncle? Someone important? Of course he is. He's a big shot around here. When he hears what happened to me, heads will roll. That's exactly what he'll say. Hmm, I wonder. Is your uncle in the military? He was in the army like my daddy, but mummy and daddy are both in heaven now, so uncle is taking care of me. I'm sorry about your parents. So, he's a soldier, eh? He's working on something big and important for important people, but I don't know what it is. You're a riddle wrapped in an enigma, my dear lad. I want to help you, Gleb, but I need to ask you something first, okay? Okay, okay, but hurry up before the guards come back. I hate them. They stink like onions in medicine. What kind of medicine? I don't know, but my uncle drinks it too. Says it's good for his heart. He always carries a small bottle of it in his chest pocket. Really smelly. I see. That kind of medicine. These men, did they ever hurt you? Did they give you something? Shots, maybe? Or pills? No, they only yelled at me when I told them to let me go. Did they put you in a weird machine? Or give you chino uh, green crystals? No, never. Huh, curious. So you have no idea why they put you in that cage? They'd say I'd be collater... collateral? Something like the bear. Collateral? Maybe. I don't know what that means. They said that my uncle knows I'm here, and he's coming to visit soon. But I bet they're liars. Poor oh boy. You've been through a lot. Can I see my uncle now? Please, please, please. Soon, kiddo. Just give me a minute to think here. All right. Time to bust you out of here. Thank you. I'll tell my uncle that you're a really nice person. Nobody deserves to be caged like that. You need to help him, Igor. Igor, look. If you think things through, you realize the lad is safer right where he is than out in the zone. What does this thing do? What now, Igor? Do you have any babysitting experience? Let the little wolf go. You can't leave him in that cage. It's inhuman. The kid should stay in the bunker for now. Even if he's a prisoner, he's protected. He's safer in there than outside. How about sending him to Madface? You said it was reasonably safe, right? It's not a place for kids. Everyone needs to know how to fight. What are they going to do with him anyway? Why can't you just... I don't know, open that portal of yours and send him to your base. I thought about it, but it's too risky. He's too small. The molecular structure of his body may be irreversibly changed. In that case, I'm telling you, leave him right where he is. Olga, I'm sending the kid to your village. I really hope you thought this through. He'll have to grow up very fast over there. They're not going to go easy on him. I was out on the streets even younger than him, and I turned out all right, didn't I? The kid's brave. I bet he'll do just fine. The village is the only safe place in the zone.
There's a village nearby, Glib. A stronghold full of people, like soldiers, but on our side. They'll shelter you. Just say Olga sent you. Think you can make it on your own? No problem. I received a merit badge for my orienteering. Top of my scout unit. How weird was that, huh? Discovering a secret NAR prison in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. I guess it pays off to follow every lead. If it wasn't for you and Matvi, we might never have found this place. It was nothing. I'm happy you saved that kid. I really am. I want you to know that. They told me you arrived safely in the village. I still think it was the wrong decision at the time, but you were under a lot of pressure. Anyway, next time, please listen to me, little babushka, okay? I need you to come here this instant. I'm at HQ. You'd better be here soon, or there will be consequences. The generator blew up, and some of our subjects are on the loose. They already killed half a dozen of Kozlov's grunts. Kozlov himself is gone, dead or escaped. I don't know which would be worse. I can't trust Kozlov anymore. You have to help me finish what we started, you and me. We're in this together until the end, whether you like it or not. You wouldn't want him to find out the truth, would you? I'm waiting in Lenin Square. Make haste, or we're both going to regret it. I guess I really am naive, huh? I think you owe me an explanation, old friend. Looks like your mentor sold you out. Or perhaps he was involved in all of this from the beginning. Regardless, he's clearly no longer your friend. He set a trap for you, Igor. What are you going to do about it? Stop right there, you're... You mentioned what kind of... What about this? That'll be one. Sure thing. There you go. It's just for you. I better be going now. Proud for forever, Igor.
Finally, some definitive proof. Tatiana is at the power plant. What's that smell? Did someone take a... Get out here or what? Before you jump to any conclusions, I can explain. You've been behind this the whole time. Enough of your games. What are you talking about? You know me? I helped you. I helped Tatiana. Don't you dare bring Tatiana into this. Don't you fucking dare. I know you're hiding things from me. You're acting irrational, my dear boy. This isn't you. If only you knew the extent of my discoveries, my plans for the future. I don't care about the future. I care about the truth. But I'm going to get it out of you, one way or another. Igor, please. Let's talk this out calmly, like men of science. What's NAR's interest in Chernobylite? Their interest is in a potentially trillion dollar business. I trust I don't need to explain the possibilities of a nearly unlimited energy source. I don't care about that. They're keeping Tatiana here against her will, aren't they? Why? Where is she? Tatiana is a patient. A very valuable one. That's what's keeping her safe. At least for the time being. NAR has done some despicable things, I give you that. They've conducted some questionable experiments on human subjects. But Tanya is different. She's special. I researched Chernobylite myself. It has many potential applications. What are you and your NAR overlords planning to do with it? I know you did. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. The catastrophe of 1986 was a great gift for humanity. One of the greatest. What are you talking about? Chernobylite opened a door to something that will change the history of mankind forever. Forever! 
energy capable of creating a singularity, multiple singularities, and tunnels between them. More than that, it gives us access to the ones already in existence. It's like an autonomous vehicle that can take you anywhere in time and space, complete with maps. The first such route is already in place. We just need to make sure it's safe. Tatiana. Tatiana Amelieva. You acted like you had no idea what happened to her. But she's been here this whole time, hasn't she? Yes. I cannot deny it. But please, you don't know all the facts. God in heaven. Is there not a single shred of decency left in you? I could tell you things that would turn your whole life upside down. But I don't want that. I can't have you falling apart. Don't you understand? I need you. What are you saying? I need you here. You're going to help me save her. I will ask you one last time. Where is Tatiana? Igor, please. Listen to reason. Do you want to learn about your personal threshold for pain? I said talk! All right, all right. But it's still Kozlov's fault. You have to believe me. Tanya is in the power plant, I swear it. Kozlov is keeping her there. Listen to me, Igor. This is important. You understand that what I'm trying to accomplish here is bigger than you or me. Shut your goddamn mouth! I can't listen to any more of your excuses. You can't leave him alive, Mousy! He will thwart our plan! He will bring about the end of the world and the reign of the Rat King! Don't do anything you'll regret later, Igor. You're better than them. Remember that. More practically speaking, you might need the old bastard later. You won't hurt anyone ever again. This ends now. I see I was wrong about you. You're an insect just like the rest of them. Mark me, you will regret this for the rest of your life. You will never save Tatiana without my help. <laughs> 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 <laughs>